Since the war in Iraq began more than five years ago, thousands of National Guardsmen have prepared for battle at Fort Indian Town Gap in Pennsylvania. It's the only live fire maneuver training site in the Keystone State. The long, narrow valley where soldiers train is also the battleground to protect one particular species. James Williams shows us what is being done to save a rare insect. The regal is an orange and black butterfly, but the, the tail end looks like it's dipped in chocolate. chocolate. Okay, everybody saw the regal, right? Get in your car, let's go. <laughs> we'll find some more. My name's Cliff Tooker. I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm a retired nature photographer. A lot of the regal uh, butterflies, we saw a lot of other butterflies too. There's another swallowtail and you can tell because he's constantly flickering his wings to stay on the, the flower. Does anyone want to know what a caterpillar condo looks like? But that's where they hide. They, they hide underneath there and then they go looking for violets. Okay, I'm out of violets. Oh, here's one. Violet, you notice where they are? They're in the patches of bare soil. Based on data we've collected that regal habitat needs 100 nectar plants per acre, but needs 5,000 violets per acre. Because when you're only four millimeters long, that three feet to the next violet may be too far. So we manage for lots and lots of violets. What are the little black things? Oh, that's caterpillar poo. Oh. <laughs> We have a regal in a net right now. Mark's gonna pull it out, let everybody get a close look. Now, if she cooperates, <laughs> which is usually the issue. So this is a female. She has a row of white spots and then another row of white spots where a male would have a row of red spots or orange and a row of white spots. These butterflies don't sit around for a whole lot of, <laughs> a whole lot of time waiting for you to come up and take their picture. You really don't think of the people in the army being that much uh, interested in nature. Some people make mountain tea out of it. But if you come to a place like this and see see what they're doing here and trying to protect this species of uh, butterfly, it really uh, it really is a good good story.